all right guys welcome back to the channel we are at the petro in effingham took a 10 hour break did some reserve parking oh man it was packed petro is huge but uh, it was packed um pre-trips done i'm gonna get started down the road oh excuse me Start off with a tug test. Make sure that we're uh, connected safely. And we are. Uh, so there's this pole right here that I don't want to hit. So I'm gonna swing it real wide. Well, just go out real straight. There we go. See how big this uh, space is? Petros generally have, Petro and TA, generally have a lot of space, uh, a lot of parking spaces. They do have paid parking spots as well. But we're headed to Dallas. Headed to Dallas. We're like gonna get there a day early. So we might just um, go to the to the terminal, get some good easy parking there, and then you know go to our delivery. Or you never know; they might decide to give the load to a local driver and continue my route. Yep. Green light. We're gonna be getting on 57 South. There's a truck wash. I might actually get this truck washed one day. Like I, I enjoy the rain because it's like a free truck wash. Um, <laughs> but I, you know, this is a new nice truck. I want to keep it clean. I think I get um, one truck wash a month, which is eh. You really gotta have the time. But, you know, take care of your equipment and it'll take care of you. And you want to look nice. It's a reflection of your yourself, really. Yeah, the company too, but really yourself. There were people parked all out by this uh, Chaser's Bar and Grill. Parking was interesting last night. But I'm off my, I'm off my normal schedule being that, like, I had that delivery or I had that pickup at, um, oh, God. What are we doing here? All right, thanks guys. Thanks for letting me over. We got this slow guy coming through. Oh man, just sometimes we acting up. Everybody's coming up, so I'm just letting everybody pass real quick, and then I will not get over. But yeah, it is uh, about 11:30 um, in the morning. <laughs> it's generally, you know, my time is to stop driving around, you know, 12, 1, 2 o'clock, stuff like that. So it's 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 different being out here with everybody else. But I've been this route before. I know there's a lot of construction. Um, last night I was coming up on my time for my 30. And, you know, it was just like, all right, stop in Effingham. Um, I got two more days to get to where I'm going versus getting on 57 and then getting into the construction zone and potentially running out of time. So pre-planning that a little bit. Um, there were other options. I could have parked right as soon as I got my um, delivery and started around my normal time. 
but at the same time I had been parked for so long that um, waiting for a load that um, I was just like you know what I'm just gonna start driving and like I said got to Effingham you do have to be patient with parking that time of night I was thinking it was got there around one o'clock in the morning um, you know because most of the parking spots are going to be done and there are going to be people probably waking up um, for the guys that drive around that time uh, so you gotta be patient don't just and be careful around those things people are asleep people have gotten creative with their parking and extended out lanes a lot so you have to um, be mindful and watch your trailer Swing wide, you know, roll the window down, watch the trailers on both on, uh, trailer on both sides. Make sure you're not clipping anybody. Um, that's one thing I never want to get. That's J Rail driver. Um, that's one thing you know you never want to get too comfortable with. Always keep your eye on your trailer. But yeah, this is a uh, man. I'm I'm feeling good. Like you know, if 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 it didn't come down to the whole parking situation, I would have no issue with driving during the day. Um, and you know, as I as I get better um, and get more experience that's probably something I will end up doing but I, I love driving at night um, but I, I know for longevity purposes you know it's probably not it's not something I'm always gonna be able to do like this time um, but at the same time you know I get to make some good videos and show you guys what I got going on um, a lot more stuff happens during the day nighttime is quiet it's peaceful do a lot of self-reflection during that time you really can uh, not necessarily meditate but go into a meditative state I guess uh, and, and think about life think about your goals and that's when you're you know you can be creative I got this oversized load here uh, farm equipment maybe Really have the speed to pass him unless he gives me some leeway. Um, I don't want to hang out next to him. Very nice truck. Like a Pete. I think it would be good to just inch on by him, give him enough space. So I am looking for another camera. So I was talking to one of my friends and she made a suggestion. So I do want to turn cam. I do want to put a camera on the, either a GoPro or a vlogging camera onto the mirrors. Yeah, I got to find it over now. Um, onto the mirrors so that like have a turn cam so you can see like you know when I'm turning and see more of what I see from that point of view um, so I am looking for that if you have any recommendations for that I currently have a GoPro Hero 11 um, that I use so definitely want to get something else I, I'm pretty sure it would make sense for the GoPro to be mounted out there and the vlogging camera maybe up here i don't know how i feel about the camera facing me um it's not my thing <laughs> or i might have 
a mounted head mounted camera like I have now and I don't know I don't know maybe give me some just some suggestions of what you guys I, I don't think the camera should be on me that's it's not my thing and it really doesn't paint the picture of what I'm doing Gas. Oh, get me by this bomb. <laughs> oh, man, but oh, it feels good to be able to get a nice shower. Um, I had breakfast already um, in the truck and since I have an automatic now, I've kind of got my cooler right here, which it is, it, since my last truck didn't have a refrigerator um, that came with it, kind of like a hand-me-down, um, I bought this one off of Amazon and it's, uh, it can be plugged into like the cigarette lighter or it can be plugged in, it has another core that you can plug it into the uh, inverter. Um, with this truck, I actually have an inverter behind my seat as well, as, as well as the APU system that's over there for the TV and microwave. Um, but yeah, I used to have this actually sitting up in the same slot that the, um, the refrigerator would have been in, but this truck has a refrigerator, so I have an additional cooler um, to put you know, my waters, juices, and stuff in there. It, it's, it's a very good cooler. Um, maybe I'll post a link for it. Um, but yeah, I like it because you can change, it's Bluetooth, which I never really use the Bluetooth feature of it. Um, but it does have the, like it has a USB port on it so you can charge things with it. And a digital button to do for the uh, time. I mean not time, but temperature. Um, so it's been, you know, it kept me going when I didn't have a, a refrigerator that was mounted on the truck. So glad to have it. And since I don't have a manual here, I can actually store it right here, strap it down right next to me. It's not gonna go nowhere, it's not gonna hit anything. Um, I thought about putting it over here, which this area is kind of a mess because I have a lot of water that I just didn't put under the truck or anywhere else. So I have a lot of water, I think it was like a 40 pack. And then my trash can, which I bought it but I don't really use it. Well, I use it for like the bottles and things, um, but normally I'll have like a bag here um, that I will uh, put around the seatbelt loop. <laughs> Excuse me. That's kind of how I do things. So that way if I have something to throw away, it's like instant access right here. The seat used to be empty, um, but now I put this, uh, this little bag thing up here and it's just turned into my food junk paper thing. I can easily just grab something out of there. But yeah, we're headed to Dallas. All right, so we'll check in later. Peace. Well, we made it down to I-55 South. And we hit a little bit of traffic. Uh, we're moving. Um, every once in a while, we'll come to a stop. A lot of trucks. And this is also why <laughs> I don't like driving at this time of day. And I kind of set myself up for this. But it's all good, it's all good. I haven't heard which lane. I know that like we're gonna enter the construction zone eventually, um, but I haven't heard which lane is best. Uh, which lane is best to get into? But we've been steadily moving, so I just choose the lane that's moving until find out what's going on as we get closer to it.